The 33rd edition of the African Cup of Nations in Cameroon has now reached the knockout phase. It's the round of 16, a tougher test for all the qualified teams. As for the Super Eagles of Nigeria, it's a big clash against familiar foes, Tunisia, on Sunday. The North African side set up a last 16 clash with Nigeria after securing a third place in Group F, following a loss to Gambia 1 0. Uh, six uh, under this current coach, uh, uh, Augusto Cerezo Iguavon. We met in the quarter final, uh, former Inter Milan uh, and uh, West Ham and Winger. Ruben and Sofo put us in front uh, in the fifth minute uh, of the game. And uh, before Karim Agui, the former central defender of uh, Esperance, equalized in the 55th minute. And at the end of the day, the game uh, uh, was decided via penalties and uh, it took the heroics of uh, uh, Vincent Yama. Away from nostalgia, others believe it's a 50 50 game. They've only won one game and lost two games, so they will want to pick up the pace. If not, this is the end of the road for them. So I'm expecting a very tough encounter, but the Super Eagles have been showing some beautiful football. A lot of people on, 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 on Nigerian spaces are saying it's Tunisia who will put them, beat them all the way to the ground, but left to me out. I, I really believe that the players and the technical crew are focused on this. I'm not get, getting carried away by um, nine points out of a possible nine. But yes, it's a 50-50 game and can go in any direction. I think uh, the confidence between the both teams, is a, there's a real golf in class there. and I think it's a show on the pitch on Sunday. The two African football giants have met 20 times with both countries, recording six wins apiece and eight stalemate games. Bigus last lost to the Tunisians in 2004 in an AFCON semi-final match, which ended one all during regulation time, with the North African nation winning 5-3 on penalties. Moses Ojewumi reporting from Cameroon for Gunsti Television.